you're sad and I really, this is not funny and this is not about attacking. This is about get this woman some fucking help. This woman is at the best stage in her career and she's out here throwing bottles and throwing shoes? Who the fuck is gonna give her a fucking intervention? Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. You niggas don't care somebody, until somebody's fucking dead. You niggas want somebody to fucking die until y'all stop. Until y'all stop this bullshit laughing at this shit. This shit ain't fucking funny. You put your hands on certain people, you gonna die. Period. And y'all sitting here like making this shit a joke. I'm not the bitches in a strip club. And I'm not a bitch on a reality show. My money is very fucking long, too. Let's come back. Go ahead, Flex. Let's go. Play something? Yeah, play something. Man, nigga done clap back. This is crazy, man. Hey, look. Like I said, I'm unbiased. I'm going to lean towards what I feel that's... Uh, more reasonable, more plausible, and what makes sense, man. Um, I, I'll just start with this, man. She basically, um, she said that, well, a female called in and talked about how Cardi B told her that she's a, called her and her dead son a monkey and called her a roach. A female hit me up, sent me a message and said that Cardi B had already, um, talked about what she meant by a roach and all that stuff she said she even called herself a roach as well meaning that coming from the projects coming from the hood uh you know what i'm saying down trotting and all that shit but still the monkey term is still something that's a derogatory stereotypical word that that's been put on black people even though we are not even close to a monkey even though there's other people who who are more genetically closer, but I'm not going to touch that right now. But at the end of the day, what she said about that, that's still kind of suspect at the end of the day. Y'all take it how y'all want. But Flex asked, I was like, well, so where did all this start? Like, how did you say anything about her child? And she was like, I don't know. I don't know. But there's supposed to be she liked somebody comment that said something about Cardi being a bad mother to a child and Nicki Minaj liked it. You know what I mean? And then what she said about her, about making them look bad, especially as black women in that type of setting. And she said, I could remember the faces, the grimaces or the facial expressions on them people's faces when this was going on. And I was keeping myself calm, cool, and collective. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel her on that. And then I also felt like, shit, it's on site. If I feel something... If I feel whatever about a person, I don't give a fuck where we at, it's on site. So I, I can understand both sides. So I understand both of them, that this is not the right place. And then I don't give a fuck where we meet at, where I see you is on site. So I can, I, I, I can respect both. So at the end of the day, let's continue, goddammit. She said, Cardi, you know what it's like to write your own songs? You came into our culture. You getting women beat up because of what your man doing? Real women never attack another woman. You take that up with your man. Get this woman help. You dig what I'm saying? Now, this is crazy. How the fuck you got men beating up women, cutting strippers, all that shit, just because your man offset fucked the bitch? Now, that's fucked up. That's crazy. I'm feeling Nikki on that one. That's crazy. You supposed to deal with your man, family. I can see if you know the girl, that's the difference. You fuck that bitch up on site. It's on site. Now, if you don't know her, she's a stranger. You don't know. It's really nothing you can do. I mean, I mean, you can do what you want to do, but it's really not her fault. It's 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 your man fault, and vice versa. You dig what I'm saying? So that's fucked up on what you doing so you stopping these chicks bags and you talking about she stopping your bag but you stopping these people who came and buy security who don't have the money that you have that's stuck in their crib scared because you sent men to beat them up because of what your man done now that's fucked up that's ratchet as hell now she said um she said um you lived off she said she said that your, you you built your whole career off the 
She said, you build your whole career off of sympathy and payola. Now, for those who don't know what payola is, let me give y'all the definition. It's the practice of bribing someone to use their influence or position to promote a particular product or interest, i.e. music and things in that nature. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people have done that, but, you know, see, these people see a lot of the artists, they know what's going on behind the scenes than what we do, you know what I mean, than what we do, so... That that's that's just crazy. Let me um let me uh And she said um I told you this to your face. You got to have thick skin, baby girl. If you give all these people all this power over you, they're always going to push your buttons. Be happy with your blessings. Uh Cardi B, she called black women roaches and monkeys. Disrespected trans people said cheating is okay. Paid men to beat up strippers. Benefits from black culture. Used payola and drama to push her career. Loving hip hop. Do y'all agree? Do y'all think she's robbing our black culture? Mmm. Mmm. But let's not forget. Let's not forget. We always have to give Puerto Ricans. Respect because they help build hip hop. They help build hip hop. You understand? But I'm gonna have to differentiate it though. By break days and break dancing, they was the real b boys. I mean, they got they got busy with the b boy, but far as rapping, taking it like really elevating the culture, the lyrics, the music, the production, and all that stuff. Black people then did that. So we they gave. I would say Puerto Ricans gave at least like five to ten percent. I want I'ma say ten because they played an important part. You could absolutely say five. You could probably say two percent to be honest. But they was here at the inception of hip hop, so we cannot just overlook Puerto Ricans family because they was here from the beginning. So we gotta give them kudos. But that's far as the break dancing goes. That's all in graffiti. Excuse me, graffiti and break dancing. B boying, so let's give them that credit. My credit is due, but far as everything else, taking it to a whole nother plateau, far as everything else, that the other elements of hip hop, blacks took it to a whole nother motherfucking, just just took it out of the ionosphere, stratosphere, galaxy. You think what I'm saying? So everybody, I don't want to hold y'all too long, but um, hey. I'm feeling Nikki on this one, so y'all let me know what y'all what y'all what y'all think. And um, she said, lastly, she said, the Lord gave you a blessing with a bundle of joy, and the only thing when your mind was to attack people, to stop their bags. Who you angry at, sweetheart? With that being said, hey, I'm just a goddamn YouTuber. All viral access media family, please like, please share, please subscribe. Shit, and I'm out this motherfucker. Peace. Full viral access media.